60s. It must have been a fascinating time then, um, just because the early, early 70s yeah. it was. Yeah. That was totally different from now. It has to be. Tuscany was not known. Right. It was, it was still, it was fallen asleep. It's like if it was really fallen asleep since, since more than 100 years. Mm -hmm. I mean, the farmers living at Cozzano, I was so impressed. Nobody could read or write. They were incredible nice people and, 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 and like coming from Holland and, and quite a, yeah, modern culture. I couldn't imagine that there were still people living normally. No, no car, no, no electricity. But they had incredible life and, 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 and experienced this. And, in the 70s. Yeah, in the early 70s. Right, so not long Tuscany ago, was right. like fallen asleep for more than 100 years. And then it woke up quickly, and the evolution was incredible during the 80s and the Chianti Shire and whatever happened and so on. But I'm, I was lucky to, to still experience this, this um, early 70s, which were the last years of, of this um, forgotten magic place. And the